Good afternoon on Monday the 27th of February and I do hope that this week has started well for you all. Our opening sentence. Lord, throughout each day you hear our voices. For we lay our requests before you and we wait expectantly. So may this day be full of God's presence. Amen. Today's readings are Psalm 13 and Genesis chapter 41, verses 25 to 45. The last time I was with you, we left Pharaoh a little bit troubled about his dreams and seeking an interpretation. Is God going to give Joseph the insight needed in order to interpret this dream? I suppose that God will only do this if it is integral and forms part of his plan and purpose. The scenes in Pharaoh's dreams are flourishing agricultural landscapes and areas ravaged by drought are ones which we are familiar with, if not first hand, then because of news coverage. We are upset when we see the impact drought has on a country. Often it's a country in Africa and in many ways we take for granted the pictures of the large ranges of cattle and crops in the American Midwest amongst other places. We know that there's plenty of food for everyone but how available is it to those in other parts of the world who actually need it. Ukraine is a major grain producing country, but the present war is having a serious impact on production and on those countries that were reliant on that grain. In many ways, the purpose of Pharaoh's dreams is to say, make provision for the difficult times while you can. It's an important message, unfortunately, notice was taken of it. For me, there's nothing worse than there being a food surplus which goes to waste and is left to rot. As we have seen at some times in the past with those food mountains in the European community, by allowing Joseph to interpret the dreams, God is also creating the opportunity for him to have a position of power in a foreign country. And this gives us yet another example of how God is able to work in the most unpromising of circumstances. Something else which we know has an impact on agricultural production is the environment and climate change. And this is picked up in our next prayer. Majestic Lord, we thank you for your marvellous creation. You made everything in perfect balance and harmony for the benefit of all. We are sorry that human greed and self-interest has disrupted the balance of creation. As we continue to experience more regular extremes of weather, we cannot ignore the role of humans in global warming. We pray that we all seek godly wisdom as to how global warming can be reversed. And may we also have sufficient courage and resolve to take the necessary action. Amen. For today's prayer points, let's pray for people who are in need in our local community. Pray that no food goes to waste. And although it seems to have dropped out of the news headlines really quickly, let's carry on praying for all who were caught up in that terrible earthquake around Turkey and Syria. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Everyone on the St. Luke's team sends their love and blessings to you and our blessing for today. Know that the mighty God is your strength and your shield, for he is your fortress and your might. The Lord protect you from all evil and keep you in his love and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with you all today and evermore.